Hello again, I'm from the United States Border Patrol, Rio Grande Valley Sector. I am Herman Rivera, and welcome to this edition of The Wire. Despite summer coming to an end, the temperatures in South Texas remain treacherous. On any given day, our Border Patrol emergency medical technicians will be called out for 911 calls to help locate and treat individuals who have been abandoned by their smugglers. With a limited number of EMTs in the field, sometimes it is our line agents that must make quick decisions to save the lives in need. Such is the case with Border Patrol Agent Renner. The heat affects us doing our job when we're out there sign cutting, especially once you get into the brush. Right now there's a nice breeze. Once you get into the brush, there's no breeze, um, especially right after the rains, there's a lot of humidity and it's just real stale in there. And it, it just, it saps the energy right out of you. At least once a, a week, there'll be a group that we work where an alien will go down and at least need to get checked out by the EMTs. Prior to becoming a Border Patrol agent, I was an EMT and a firefighter, so I had a little bit more advanced training, and that kind of helps me with patient assessment when I first get there, and uh, I get a little bit of a leg up as, as opposed to the basic first responder. On August 4th, we had uh, an alien in a distress call, and it was a 911 call, and they gave us the grid coordinates, and uh, once we figured out where that was, uh, we knew that we couldn't get there anywhere near there with the mobile units, so we ended up having to walk. Once we got there, he was totally unresponsive, and he was posturing, uh, decorticate posturing, so he was, he was really on his way out. Um, we had brought some, some ice water in our, in our jugs, and we cut up some of his clothing that was already taken off by the, the alien that was talking to the 911 operator. Started pouring water on him. We wrapped up some ice from the camelbacks that the agents brought down and the, in his clothing and we packed it around his, his main arteries, groin, armpit areas, around his neck and head and kept pouring ice water on him while we were taking a quick set of vitals, uh, the, the respirations and the, the pulse and communicating with the EMTs. And it took from the time that the first agents got there till the time the EMTs showed up was about 20 minutes. And uh, the whole time we were just trying to keep them cool and keep the EMTs informed as to what was going on so they had a clear picture when they showed up of what they needed to do. As, long as, as well as the environmental concerns of being in the middle of this thick brush and having to walk the guy a half a mile out. The summertime heat is not the only obstacle that Mother Nature throws our way. Working along the Gulf Coast, the Rio Grande Valley sector is susceptible to hurricanes. During this time, agents not only carry on their border security mission, but will respond to potential disasters caused by these storms. When a hurricane forms in the Gulf, the U.S. Customs and Border Protection will stand up an emergency operations center where CBP assets will be collected and prepared to deploy to devastated areas. With more on these deployments, we would like to take you to Hammond, Louisiana. Good morning, my name is Jared Ashby, the Acting ACTT Director in the Rio Grande Valley. We're here in Hammond, Louisiana, deploying for Hurricane Sally. We currently have 41 um, agents with about five vessels and a couple rescue watercraft out here. We will be traveling today from um, Hammond, Louisiana to Mobile, Alabama to begin assessments. Our primary mission is the life and safety of CDP employees and the uh, residents of the Mobile or the impacted area of Hurricane Sally. Through extreme heat or torrential rain, the United States Border Patrol remains steadfast to securing our nation's border and saving lives. We hope all our viewers remain safe and continue to protect yourselves and your families by practicing social distancing and wearing a mask. I am Herman Rivera and you've been wired.